Welcome back. In the last lecture, we have seen that if T1 and T2 are two unitary operator transformation on an inner product space, finite dimensional inner product space V, then T1 and T2 are simultaneously diagonalizable provided they commute with each other. And this is uh, uh, this commuting relationship uh, is very essential as you can see for example, T 1 you take this as 0 1 1 0. Then T 1 T 1 star this is going to be identity. So, this is unitary and you take T 2 to be 1 0 0 minus of 1. This is again is an unitary transformation on R 2. So, 2 dimensional vector space. So, now if you take T 1 and T 2, then this is going to be 0 1 and 1 0 and 1 0 0 minus of 1. So, this is going to be uh, is equal to 0 minus 1 1 0 and T 2 T 1 uh, 1 0 0 minus 1 0 1 1 0. So, this is equal to 0 1 minus 1 0. So, T 1 T 2 although they are unitary T 1 T 2 is not equal to T 2 T 1. So, this is what we need to take care of that they commute with each other. Now, for n tuples of unitary transformation. So, our lemma suppose T 1 to T k be a commuting family of unitary transformation on a finite dimensional linear product space V on a finite dimensional inner product space V. So, what is the commuting? So, that means T i T j is equal to T j T i for all i j is equal to 1 to k. So, I take any two and they commute with each other and each of them they are unitary that is the commuting family of unitary operators. Then T 1 to T k are simultaneously diagonalizable. The proof is exactly the way what we have seen in the T 1 and T 2, the way we go from T 1 to T 2 exactly with that approach uh, by induction we can get it for a, any finite number a k. So, uh, true for k is equal to 1 that is nothing but the spectral theorem. Suppose true 
for t1 to tk minus of 1. Now, now tk from v to v is unitary. Thus, it is diagonalizable. V can be, I can write that again V beta 1 direct sum of this is the eigenspaces for uh, uh, T k. Now, as they were commuting, so now we, what our claim is that T j V beta i, this is contained in V beta i this is our claim. Why is that? So, you take a v from v beta i, then t j, j I will act on t k of this v, I need to show that t j v is uh, eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value of beta v beta i. So, this is equal to because they are commuting exactly the same way we have T k v. Now, this is equal to T j of let us say beta i of v because this consists of all the eigen, eigen vectors. So, now this is equal to beta i of uh, T j of v. Therefore, T j of v is also an eigen vector for T k. Uh, yeah. So, therefore, T j v is belongs to v beta i. So, then more or less the proof is done over there. So, as uh, you consider T j, you restrict it to v beta i then this is a map from a vector space v beta i to v beta i and unitary hence diagonalizable and beta v beta i uh, consists of one dimensional subspace spanned by the eigen vector of v i of t k. So, that is going to be an eigenvalue for each of this t j, j from 1 to k minus of 1. So, now we have got that result that if you have a commuting family of uh, unitary operators, then they are simultaneously diagonalizable. Okay, by now, we would try to uh, prove our main result, uh, which says that I mean, uh, so uh, whether the characters of G hat forms an orthonormal basis for C G. Okay, so uh, now, so we know what are the facts we know. We know dimension of C G, this is equal to the number of elements in G. Now, let A belongs to G, define T A f of x is equal to f of A x for f in f a function from G to C, f is in C G. It is a uh, uh, kind of uh, easy to see that T a's are unitary, because if you take T of a of g, then this by definition is x varies over g, this is T a f x, T a g x bar, which is equal to f of a x, then g of a x bar. Now, we make a change of variable. So, this becomes y belongs to g f of y, g of y, 
and which is nothing but f g. So, therefore, T a is unitary So, now you take any other any b belongs to g then T a T b of f of x this is equal to T b of f at a x which is equal to f at b a x. Now, now we our group g is abelian therefore, this is going to be f of a b of x that means, this is going to be T a of f at b x this is equal to T b T a of f at x thus T a b T a T b is equal to T b T of a. So, this means T a a varies over g is a family of commuting unitaries on C g on this inner product space C g. So, therefore, by our lemma this is going to be simultaneously diagonalizable. So, now we can state our main theorem. This says that let G be a finite abelian group. The character of G, the of G forms an orthonormal basis for C G. Okay. We have noticed that uh, T A A belongs to G simultaneously diagonalizable so therefore there exist b b belongs to g eigen vectors which are eigen vectors for each for all of t a that means, such that T a f b is equal to let us say lambda a b of f b. So, all these are the element this is set is contained in C g. Okay. Uh, first, we claim that f b of E is not equal to 0 for all B, where E is the identity element of G. Okay. If F B of E is equal to 0 for some B, then f b of a this is equal to f b of a into e this is equal to t uh, a f b at e because this is nothing but the translation operator. So, so now we know that f b is an eigen vector for t a therefore this lambda a b f b of e 
which is going to be 0. So, if it is going to be because we are assuming that f b is equal to 0. So, now f b is a 0 function. However, we know that it is an eigenvector. Therefore, it, it cannot be a 0 function. Therefore, what we got is that this is true f b is at identity is not equal to 0. Now, define g of c at x this is equal to f c at x divided by f c at e this we can define because f c or at e is not equal to 0 for c belongs to g. Now, we need to produce what we are trying to show is that as we have observed that if we can produce there are exactly the n number of characters in g then because they are linearly independent what we have observed earlier and dimension of c g is n. So, we are done and we can prove the theorem. So, essentially we want to produce for every x in g we want to produce a character. So, for a different character. So, now there will be n such n of these characters and that will prove our result and towards that one. So, we are defining this uh, g c which is a function which is to be like this. Now, you take this g c of a uh, x into y or rather x plus y in the group setting this is going to be f c of uh, x plus y divided by f c of e. Now, this is t x of f c of y divided by f c of e this is equal to t y t x of f c at e divided by f c at e because that is the translation operator. So, this because all these are the I f c are the eigen vector for each of these t x. So, this means this what we are going to get is that x c lambda y c lambda uh, x c f c at e divided by f c at e. Now, this is going to be nothing but g c of x into g c of y. So, now this g c what we have defined this is actually is a homomorphism from the group to uh, um, c. Now, they are non-zero because they are non-zero. So, we have earlier seen that if there is a homomorphism from g to c non-zero homomorphism then it is going to be a character. So, from earlier observation what we get thus this g c belongs to g hat and there we have done uh, we have got and then if you take g c and g b if b is not equal to c because they are they are disjoint eigenvectors you uh, hence they cannot be equal. So, there will be g a is not equal to g b if a is not equal to b as distinct eigenvectors. 
Hence, what we have got is that there are n of them. So, this implies that essentially what we are saying that the cardinality of g hat is equal to the cardinality of g and that is that proves that uh, C g has orthonormal basis consisting of all the characters uh, uh, of g. As a matter of fact, this is uh, this will not be true if we uh, leave the setting of abelian group. For example, not true if G is not abelian. That means, what we are saying is that you see uh, we did, even if for any finite group we can define a homomorphism from G to T. So, uh, because that that is where we do not need any abelianness. So, G hat is well defined, G hat is nothing but gamma from G to T such that gamma of x y is equal to gamma x gamma y. Here, I am just denoting the group operation by x y. So, now let us uh, then in, in the case of abelian the number of elements in g hat is equal to number of elements in g. Let us see uh, what is happening in this case in if we are not dealing with abelian group. Let S 3 be the group generated by by A B with the condition that A Q minus B Q is equal to identity and a b square is equal to b a. That means, what is our group S 3? S 3 this is going to be an identity a and b, then I will get a uh, uh, rather I will put uh, a q sorry this is a square is equal to b q is the identity. Then a a square a into a a square is already e. So, therefore, a th to the power 3 a into a into a this is a it is there. So, no other power of a will remain b b square will be there and b cube is identity. So, no further power is going to be there of b q. Then we have got uh, a b and uh, a a b uh, then a b square is not going to be there that is going to be b a and that is all. So, so now the cardinality of s 3 is equal to 6. Now, what are the possibilities uh, of the characters? Gamma is from S 3 to T. Uh, then you look at gamma of A, gamma of B square, this is equal to gamma of A, gamma of B square, which is equal to gamma of A B square which is equal to gamma of B A, which is equal to gamma of B into gamma of A, right. So, now, if gamma of A is not uh, equal, it cannot be equal to 0, therefore, gamma of B square is equal to gamma of B. Now, again gamma of B is not equal to 0, therefore, what we get is that the gamma of uh, 
b is equal to either 1 or minus 1. Now, if we take this. So, now again in the uh, gamma of a square, this is equal to gamma of a square, which is equal to gamma of e, which is equal to 1. Therefore, this is plus or minus 1 or this is plus or minus of 1 gamma of a. So, what are the um, characters what you take? So, gamma of a, this belongs to minus 1 to 1. So, one character is of course, gamma of x is equal to 1 and another character we are taking gamma of a is equal to 1 and gamma of b this is equal to minus of 1. So, therefore, there, there are only, only two characters which is going to take. So, however, for any, any non-commutative group if we are taking, then we do, we do not get that there are uh, uh, same number of characters as the number of elements of G. You can be little more precise over here by taking gamma of a to the power r b to the power s, where r can vary over 0 and uh, 1 and b can vary over 0, 1, 2. Uh, s can vary over this is equal to gamma a to the power r gamma b to the power s. So, if gamma of b you are taking to be fixed 1, then gamma of a is equal to minus 1 to 1, minus 1. So, uh, that is what it says. So, the cardinality of S 3 hat is not equal to the cardinality of S 3 and that is what. Uh, so, now it suggests that if you had whatever we are going to do, we are confined to the abelian setting and uh, for non-abelian, we might to look for other one. So, now our uh, focus would be, now we are all set, we have the orthonormal basis, all the requisite, uh, uh, whatever we needed to do the analysis on the uh, 2 pi periodic function and z n, we are uh, we have all those preliminary results. So, we will see that whether the inversion and the Planzero uh, formula Percival identity holds in this setting or not, which will be there and for that we will need to define what the Fourier coefficient of a given function f in C g and then like before we will derive the properties and see some application of this uh, in number theory. Thank you.